Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited because we're gonna be talking about all of my April beauty favorites. I feel like we have so many amazing products to talk about. There's an eyeshadow palette, lipsticks, nail polish, a perfume, some jewelry. This is not sponsored or anything, but y'all, I can't, I cannot handle this necklace. I'll just talk about it really quickly. I know this is the worst intro ever, but this is my little Taurus necklace from Ana Luisa. They did send it to me. I worked with them on some videos, but I just cannot stop wearing this little necklace. I think it is so, so cute. So, I mean, just get it out of the way right now. That is my very first favorite for the month of April, and it's gonna be my favorite for the entire Taurus season and probably all the time because I love being a Taurus. Actually, just went ahead and got my second um, piercing done yesterday which, you know, it actually didn't hurt at all and I can't wait till I can change out the little um, ball and I think it's gonna be so cute, but these are some hoops from Ana Luisa as well, but anyways, I don't know, I don't know why I got distracted so easily, but I've just been having such an amazing month. My birthday month is April, so I just, I had such a good month and I have so many things to talk to you guys about, so yeah. <laughs> a little chaotic, but let's just jump on in. So let's just go ahead and start off with lipstick just to switch it up because I have some lipsticks that I am obsessed with this month. So first and foremost, it's gonna be the Makeup by Mario lipstick. I have this shade called Mauve Glow and technically it is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. I'm telling y'all, this is the best lip product I have tried in so long. It's what I have on my lips today. I barely used any, but I feel like it is a beautiful formula. It is super comfortable, super glowy. It does have like a little tiny bit of like a minty feel to it because it's supposed to be plumping, but it is not painful. Like I am someone who is super sensitive to plumping products. I don't like them and this one is not too much at all. It's just actually almost like nice, like just like a little bit of like a cooling effect, but it is not uncomfortable by any means. I love this shade, but I love the formula the most, like <laughs> the way I'm so tempted to buy every single one is ridiculous, but these are so, so good. Honestly, I like them even better than the Marc Jacobs, like lip gloss sticks that used to be super popular because I feel like this wears off way nicer and I don't get like the little ring on my mouth. It is just so pretty. I'm just so, so happy with this. It has been living in my purse since I got it. So it's like one of the little clicky things. I'll do a swatch for y'all, I mean, it's just so beautiful. The color, the formula, the way it feels, like, oh, favorite, favorite, favorite. Like, if I had to choose one thing of this entire video to talk about or, like, to recommend, it would be the Makeup by Mario lip lipsticks, which actually this is the first product I've ever tried from him, so now I'm even more intrigued. Intrigued. I am intrigued to try more products. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. Anyways, I have two other lipsticks I really want to talk about that I am obsessed with. So these are the Pat McGrath Bridgerton Volume 2 collection, like the little bows. That's why I bought them. I bought them because they're so cute and because they have little bows and they're just supposed to be in my background, but I actually love the lipsticks so much that they have not been in my background because I've been using them. I've been keeping this blue one, which is called Nude Romantic 2 in my purse, actually. I'm telling y'all, these are so good. So this is my first time I'm trying the lipsticks um, from Pat McGrath in this formula. What are these? I think they're... Mm, it's the Satin Allure lipstick. I actually really like the Satin Allure lipstick more than the mattes. Like, everyone was hyping up that the matte lipsticks from Pat McGrath were the best, but I like the Satin Allure better. So like I said, this is the shade Nude Romantic 2, and I just feel like it is the most beautiful pinky neutral shade I have been reaching for. it. I just feel like it looks so pretty with so many different looks, and... Like I said, I've been keeping that one in my purse because I feel like it's just so beautiful and it just, I don't know, it's just the tones. I feel like sometimes when you get makeup products from professional makeup artists who really, really know what they're doing with the products that they make, the tones of lipsticks are just nicer. I feel like I've had the same experience with Lisa Eldridge where I'll try something and I'm like, like it was just made to look good. I also have this shade here called Negligee, which I didn't know that I was gonna love as much as I love, but this is like the perfect kind of like pinky peach tone. Again, it's a satin allure, but look at that. Like, I feel like it just has the perfect teensy little tint of peachiness, like so perfect for summer. I just think it's so nice. And they both have like that really kind of like satin 
like soft glowy look super comfortable on the lips so those have been favorites as well i feel like it's been a while since i've been so passionate about lipsticks but all three of these just are like making my heart happy and then okay let's gosh there's just there's so many good things to talk about i'm overwhelmed but i'll mention a nail polish real quick so next this is from what's up nails and i recently got pr from them i think they're also called what's up beauty and that's for their like beauty products they have some palettes but i have been focusing on trying their nail polishes honestly and they are so good so i wanted to talk about this shade in particular this is peridot it's the one that i have on my nails right now and i can't tell you guys this is i think this is the fourth shade I've tried from them and they have all been so good. I really love that it has like the wider brush. The colors are super pigmented. I feel like I normally go in with two coats for pretty much all nail polishes, but you can honestly go in with one of these and it would still be really nice. But the thing that really caught me is their lasting power. I feel like they last so well. They don't chip easily and I just love that. I mean, this shade Peridot is so beautiful, but you guys, do you see my nails? I'm not claiming that they're perfect by any means, but I have had these on for over a week with no top coat. I'm like, it. that's just so impressive to me. I did get a little bit more chipping on this side, like just a tiny bit, because I mean, I tend to use my right hand more because I'm right hand dominant, but I mean, for an entire week, no top coat, like, it's just so, so good. So I have been a huge fan of their nail polishes. Um, I mean, I'm slowly going through the ones they sent me, but I could honestly see purchasing more from them. I'm super excited to have tried an indie nail polish brand that is literally killing it. Next, I have two bronzer favorites to mention. So one is going to be the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. I know I'm literally the last person to be raving about this. I, I just got on board recently, but I love it. So I have the lightest shade, which is called Power Boost. And I just feel like even though it's like a really warm shade, the way that these blend is like unheard of. I feel like it's probably like the creamiest bronzer. Like, ugh, it's just so good. I saw Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a new cream bronzer and part of me is tempted to buy it. But then part of me is also like, I just got this and I just don't know that another cream bronzer could beat this formula because it is so good. I feel like it wasn't even that expensive. I think it was like $20 or something like that. And I mean, it just blends so nice. It's the bronzer that I have on my cheeks today. I did film this whole tutorial. I did a full face of favorites for Patreon in case you're curious. I do always have my Patreon link down below. I don't like to talk about it too much because I don't want anyone to feel like weird or pressured. Like, oh, you have to go watch these extra videos or anything. But if you are looking for more like tutorial based content from me, I post normally three to four videos a month over on Patreon doing different tutorials, palette bingo, stuff like that. And I did film this look for my patrons and I mean in the video you can see how good this blends but it has just been an absolute favorite. And then I mean that is like more of like a matte version for bronzer so the glowy bronzer I've been going for is the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Pyrite. It's just the shade that I use because it's about two shades deeper than my skin tone and it's a really neutral shade but I just love using this. It's supposed to be like a, a highlighter but I love it as a bronzer. I've been using it as a bronzer since I bought it but I feel like the last month or so I've just gotten into it more and like I've pulled it back out and I've just been reaching for it especially because I have been breaking out and I feel like sometimes just using really glowy kind of just liquid products helps your skin not look like it's getting cakey or dried out or whatever so i'll show you guys what it looks like i mean you can see it is such a nice neutral shade i go in with like literally that amount is how much i would use for my entire face i don't need that much <laughs> yeah but i mean i just feel like it is such a good bronzer shade for my skin tone and it just has that beautiful glow to it love it i also have a liquid blush that i've been using a ton i think i might have mentioned this in my favorites video last month i'm not sure but this is the rarely the rarely i cannot speak today this is the rare beauty nearly neutral blush and i remember not loving this at first i've talked about this so many times but the thing with this blush is if you use it with the right kind of brush, it, you will get a bunch of pigmentation and it is just a really beautiful neutral shade. It's the blush that I'm wearing today and I mean, it's just a really nice neutral glowy blush. With the right brush, I like to use something a little bit more dense, just kind of stipple it in. 
just so beautiful goes with everything kind of blush and I mean I don't even know like it's like I'm not even that passionate about it because it's like it's just a cream blush like it's, it's pretty but I have been reaching for it constantly every time I've been wanting to wear something cream I have been using this and like I said it's that nearly neutral shade so I feel like oh I got a hair in it I feel like it goes with every single look it doesn't pull too warm too cool it doesn't get too bright like it just looks you know just like a nice little natural flush on the skin next I wanted to go ahead and mention a perfume that I'm so excited about this is the Dolce Dolce & Gabbana garden perfume Ugh. It smells so good. I love this. Um, it has been a favorite for a while. I got like a little tiny mini bottle like as a free gift with purchase from an Ulta purchase forever ago. I think it came with my Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume. I never even looked at that perfume before, but when I smelt it, I was in love. I've been wearing it constantly ever since I've almost finished up the entire little bottle. It's been on my wish list for a while and my boyfriend ended up getting it for me for my birthday. And I just had to mention it because it is definitely a favorite. I think the bottle is so cute. It smells so good. If you like a good, super sweet, floral, rose perfume, this one is just delicious. And like I said, I know this is like a brand new bottle, even though I have been using it. I mean, I'll just, I'll just hit myself again. It smells so good. Um, but I have almost finished up the entire little mini and I just think it's so good. I get to smell it all day. I feel like I can tend to kind of go through phases with my perfumes where there'll be one that I really love and I'm wearing it every single day and currently it's Dolce & Gabbana Garden. Now let's talk about two foundations that I have been loving. I'm not, I don't think you'll be surprised to hear about either of these. So first of all is a new one and I love it so, so much. This is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 25 and I have the shade Very Light Neutral 100. This foundation is just so beautiful. If you're looking for something with like a good kind of light medium coverage, a really glowy look to it, I mean, it just looks so flattering on the skin in my opinion. The shade honestly is really perfect for me. I love it. Sometimes I'll mix it in with some of the Aura Glow Lust in the shade Morganite if I wanna have a little bit more glow and like really be beaming but I just think that this looks so good on the skin it looks like skin it truly truly does it is not cakey it is not drying like I just have nothing bad to say about this I feel like I've tried so many foundations recently and like I mean my whole life and I think that this actually might be my favorite foundation ever I think did I talk I may have mentioned this in last month's favorites as well now that I'm thinking about it It has still been a favorite all of April and I feel like if you like the Pat McGrath Foundation, I would recommend the Kosas. It's cheaper um, To be fair the Pat McGrath does have a much better um, Shade range so that is something to keep in mind But if you really like the formula of this, I think you'll really like the formula of the Kosas and then let me move that out of the way. The other foundation I wanted to talk about is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I know they came out with a new foundation. I wanted to get it during the Sephora sale, but it was sold out in my shade. But hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on that one soon. But this is the shade Fair. I have been reaching for this again. It is like a summer foundation for me because it's the lightest shade that they have. But I don't know if you can tell. It's definitely not a super fair shade. I mean, the Pat McGrath is definitely more my shade all year round, but... Um, yeah, this is because this is my summer shade and because I've been getting a little bit more sun I've finally been able to reach for this again. It's such a shame the shade range sucks on this because It is such a beautiful foundation like the fact that it doesn't go light enough I don't think it goes deep enough so many of the shades are gray toned like it makes me mad because it's so good If they would just come out with bomb shades I think so many people I mean not that a lot of people aren't already obsessed with this But I think it would be a cult favorite if the shade range was better but yeah, anyways, I've been reaching for this a lot again. It's what I have on my skin today. It says it's a CC cream, but it has really good coverage. I would say like medium coverage. You could get to medium full if you use a little bit more product. I tend to go in with just like a tiny pump and call it a day because I like to have more of a thin layer of foundation and then I'll conceal where I need to conceal, but I've just been loving this again. I think it's beautiful. And then let's see, um, I have one more product I really wanted to talk about. So that is going to be the Alamar Lacosta Highlighter. 
I love this so, so much. I mean, if you watch my Patreon tutorial of this look, I already was sitting there raving about this the whole time, but I'll just go ahead and give my whole spiel again because I just can't get enough of this highlighter. When I first tried it, I remember like putting it on and I was like, oh, kind of like, that's it. Like I was expecting it to be a little bit more bright, a little bit more shiny, like a little bit more impactful. But now I feel like, I mean, it's what I have on my cheeks today. I think that it's like the perfect amount of shine. It's the perfect shade for my skin tone. They do have two other shades available as well. But the formula of this is so creamy. And I feel like if you have like really textured skin or acne prone skin and you kind of stay away from highlighters a little bit more because of the way that they make your texture look, I honestly recommend this one. I feel like I've been kind of like staring clear or like there's highlighters I normally love that I've been applying to my face this month and because I've been struggling like breaking out so so much and getting like a ton of texture like something I normally never experience like I would put things on and I'd be like ooh that doesn't look the best and it's kind of like ooh I wish I skipped highlighter kind of moment but I ended up reaching back into this highlighter just throwing it on and I was like that actually looks so good it doesn't emphasize texture at all. I think it's because it is so creamy. It just, I mean, it looks so, so nice on the skin. Like, obviously my skin still looks like skin, but it is not doing anything at all, at all to make it look worse. I mean, I think it just looks so glowy and healthy. I feel like it's such a nice neutral shade. Like it's not pulling super gold or super white or anything like that. So I don't know, I feel like all around this highlighter is just stunning. So I mean, there's what it looks like on the inside, but I'll just go ahead and give you guys a little swatch. I mean, so creamy, just such a nice neutral shade. Like for, I mean, I believe this one is marketed for fair light skin tones. And I mean, you can see it does have a little bit of a warm base to it, but if you just blend that back into your blush or your bronzer, it looks fine. Like there is no streak at all happening from it. I think it just looks very, very pretty on the skin so can't get enough of that either oh wait oh my goodness you guys i just realized i was about to end the video and i almost forgot to talk about the eyeshadow palette how could i forget eyeshadow i just want to mention this really quickly i have been loving once again the pat mcgrath subliminal palette oops you can see my mirror a little bit i kind of got this i bought this a few months ago i used it quite a lot the first like month or two months that i had it and then i kind of I've been testing out so many other palettes, I kind of forgot about it, and I pulled it back out this month, and I just remember why I love it so much, and why, like, this is the palette that I decided to purchase from Pat McGrath, my first Mothership palette, and it is because it is just, like, the perfect everyday palette. If you like neutral, cool tones, like, this palette is just it is the moment so it's what i have on my eyes today i just did a super simple look with the mattes and then i kind of did a little something something with the gold but i just feel like this is such a staple palette for me the satins in here perfect all over the lid the mattes in here like so good like pat mcgrath's mattes like these just blend amazing i just love them like they are so easy to use and like this is an expensive palette and I know like to some it's probably a boring palette. I mean, this is probably a boring eye look to some people, but I feel like to me, this is just like every day what I wanna reach for. And it's like, if I'm gonna have like that everyday luxury, that is what this palette is to me. I feel like I do not regret purchasing this palette at all. And it's definitely been a favorite for this month. And I don't know, I'm, I'm traveling next week and I'm thinking maybe I wanna bring this with, even though it's kind of scary because it's so special. Like, do I wanna bring this with me? What if something happens to it? But I just feel like it's just so essential, honestly. At least for me and the way that I've been liking to do my makeup lately, but I'm sure I would also bring something with a little bit more like pizzazz to switch it up just depending on how I'm feeling on the day, but those are all of my April favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you heard about some fun products. I would love to hear what you have been loving this month. Feel free to have a conversation with me down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!